Hey, I'm about to replace the check valve in my Pentair Model 320 automatic chlorine inline heater. Uh, it's a uh, warm time of the year and inconsistent uh, chlorine has been a problem since I uh, opened in the summer. And it took me a, mi a few times, a few different tries to localize the problem to the check valve. But uh, if you don't maintain uh, consistent chlorine levels in your pool, this happens. So I'm gonna resolve that. I'm tired of fighting this beast. Part of, the, part of my problem was I had a hard time diagnosing uh, the root cause of the problem. I found a YouTube video, I'm gonna have to credit that guy in the comments, uh, that showed me uh, an efficient way to, to check the check valve issue without taking everything apart. So I just cut off the system. It was pressurized. And you should hear uh, that noise when you open it. But that's actually coming from the, um, the control valve, which controls the flow of water through the system. And the, if the check valve were working properly, the uh, water should at some point drain quickly from the system. Uh, instead of this very slow rate that is moving out. And basically those tablets that have been there in the bottom have been there all week and it should last a couple of days. So of course now while I'm talking to you, yeah, it's going down slowly, but you should see the check valve open and the water should drain out quickly after the pressure drops in the system. So I'm going to get that check valve out there and we'll do this test again. This is the replacement part. Uh, found it um, on, guess what, Amazon. <laughs> and the new one, when it, you can tell it's working because you can hear that, you know, kind of sounds like a marble in there. But that's that's the thing that, that allows the valve to open and close depending on the pressurization of the system. And when I get that old one out, I'll do the shake test again and it should not shake. And it's still going down. So the check valve is actually under this thing. And there is a set screw in there that you need to loosen before you unturn the entire thing. So I'm gonna take this hose off so I can turn turn it because it's actually connected to the this, this supply line. Um, and then I'll unscrew everything. And this just, I can loosen this with my hand. And it's almost there, almost there, almost there. There it goes. And then the hose is just there. So that's disconnected. That little rascal is the, is the set screw for the uh, chlorinator. It's so now that I have this hose disconnected and the whole thing will rotate, the question is how easy is it gonna to be to turn? So here it goes. Ah, so not bad at all. And turn. I probably could have taped this or something. So that's what the, that, the threaded piece is what the coordinator sat on. So I'm gonna put myself on report. What I should have done here was remove that stuff um, probably before to make sure I didn't get any film fumes, not films, but fumes in my face. So I realized that mistake and it's actually pretty easy to dump it out. This screen sits on the bottom of the feeder and I'll show you how to install that correctly later. And there's the, the old check valve. Can you see that? Yeah, there's a pair of shot. There's the old, <laughs> you get to see my green pole in the background. So there's the old check valve and I'm going to uh, probably need some pliers to get that dude out. Let's see. I did have to nudge it a little bit with, with some channel locks, but now it's hand, oh, hand twist off of a look pretty easy. And there's no uh, O-ring for this piece specifically it's uh, just plumber's tape and the shake test, no shake or no rattle rather, <laughs> no rattle. So the 
the checker and the check valve is not checking nothing so it's just stuck and the replacement piece i saw it from somewhere between 12 and 15 dollars on amazon so it's uh it's <laughs> There, there's supposedly ways to open this to like get it to work, but it's twelve or fourteen dollars on Amazon, and you can take it out and replace it with like hardly any tools in a few minutes. So I would just replace it. And one more time for the rattle test. So new piece, dark gray rattle. Old piece, no rattle. So this one doesn't work. This one should work like a champ. So I'm gonna put some um, plumber's tape on the threads. Uh, I'm gonna use a petroleum-based lubricant on the O-ring on here. And this is the, the mechanical, mechanical connection back to the uh, pull system. So we don't want any leaks there. Reattach this, the, this tube to the bottom um, connection back there on the uh, supply line. Uh, put back the screen and we'll do that uh, that test to see after I pressurize the system if the um, check valve checks and then unchecks when the pressure pressure in the system drops below whatever it has to drop below for the valve to open. I'm gonna put the set screw in place, you know, give it a quarter turn before I put it upside down and can't see what I'm doing. Okay, I reconnected everything. Reconnected this line, went together, no problem. Uh, Re-put the, re-tightened the set screw, you know, using the screwdriver through that access point. Uh, hand tighten this, uh, again, no problem. Nothing in the tube. So I'm gonna start the system. I have this valve turned off, so no water should come in through here. And let's see what happens. I heard like a gurgle. I don't know if you saw that, but there was like a gurgle of water in the bottom and like a drop of water came through, then it clicked off. And that's all that shaking is all the air going through the system. That'll clear in a minute. So, so far, well, I see a little bit of water trickling. But if I had done this uh, at the beginning of the tape, we would have seen water just streaming in uh, through there. Um, and it's not supposed to. So let's open the valve here and we should get water there. More open, more water, cut it off, no water. So this valve, this valve is working just fine. And looks like my check valve is working just fine too. So let me put a little bit more water on it. And then the corollary test to this one is to cut the system off, let the pressure drop, and see if the water inside the tube drops quickly. Uh, okay, system's off, and water. Oh, I, I heard it click. So I would say that is a properly functioning check valve. Um, which is cool. I'm excited about that because what I was doing before was not working. So the last thing to do is to put put this screen back in and there are four nubs down the bottom of there and I've seen people use like long barbecue tongs to do it. Uh, I can just squeeze my hands in to get it in place. And that, that ridge there, I guess, is in place so that um, water can circulate under the chlorine tabs when they're in there. So I'm going to put this rascal back together and uh, let her rip. And hopefully that will resolve the issue. I guess I really should do uh, another video on cleaning this out. Ugh, I hate doing this. And my, and my plan is to... Uh, I think the, the chlorine, I'm sorry, the algae in there is actually dead, but I'm going to hit it with shock one more time, flocculate it tonight, let all the crap settle to the bottom and vacuum to waste. And you'll be surprised how, how quickly that clears up everything. Um, so I'm looking forward to getting back in my pool.